All right, I'm gonna try to rough grade something with this mess. So I think I wanna, I don't, yeah, I can't decide. <laughs> I may notch some of this out, kinda get, get rid of this valley and kinda flatten this bottom out and then kinda, I don't know, shake these sides out a little bit, but uh, I need to haul quite a bit more up there. Actually, I want to fill it in to the top of the footing, but just like I said, kind of have it flat and then the sides, you know, shape up or whatever, but I need to loosen it up with this, and I'll probably take the loader and push it up there. I need to get more around that corner as well, but I kind of, I'm trying to envision how I want this thing to look kind of when it's done, and it's a little difficult at this stage, I guess, but I kind of want to follow what I got started here cut some of this off, throw it over there in the middle, and then kind of get the laser out and just start having a little bit of fall from the top of the footing, which will still be about four inches below the floor and get a plenty of fall. But... And then after I do that, get it kind of roughed in and leveled where I want, then we'll go back and dig in the perimeter drains, just because they're kind of up there at the top of the footing, and then that way I'll be done cutting and stuff. So that is my plan. We'll. Uh, We'll see how that actually works out. But I just need to kind of rake it, loosen it, you know, kind of cut and shape and add here and there. Kind of all that, but it's all just a great big rock. Because we've dug this down so far that we're in like the sub base or whatever now, so it's pretty crappy stuff.
Oh, here's my uh, MacGyver <laughs> pipe job here. So this piece coming out, there's a drain on the inside of the footing underneath the floor. And they had it pretty smashed up, but I found a piece that inserts in there and then goes in here. And then uh, the duct tape just kind of keep it. <clears throat> I mean, it snaps in, but it kind of moves. So with the duct tape, that should hold it in place. And then I glued all the SD35 and... Uh, I'm going to take the rest of the clean rock I got. I'm going to clean those big rocks off there for starters and then dump over all this. And I probably should have maybe worked on this yesterday instead where I could have just ran it straight over and then that way. But I got it right below the sewer line. So when we dig it, we'll probably just dig, set it over the top and then just step down. Because I think the tank and stuff is going out there past the loader. So, And then I went ahead and ran two pipes. I know not a ton of water. I mean, it just kind of trickles out of here, but I had enough pipe to do too in this way. I mean, it's just kind of cheap insurance, I guess, where there's plenty of pipe and drainage running on out. So. And since I dug the ditch without having just kind of where I wanted it, I just kind of had to put them together and fight them and bone them was the best thing. I should have probably tried to dig them straight out somewhere, but it just kind of worked out this way. And then I gotta clean it up, but they'll just kind of daylight out here. I'll probably cut that other one off, make them the same length, and then just kind of <clears throat> reshape and do whatever I need to do uh, around there. Maybe put some of this bigger rock there at the end. Like I said, it's not gonna be like a ton of water. It's more just kind of trickling out. Uh, hopefully we got enough base rock and clean rock to put on there to pad it, and then I'll just kind of carefully rake this junk back on top of it and probably won't track it down i'll just kind of let it settle on its own just because i don't want to take a chance of uh running a rock through it but yeah so those are in and uh now we'll get our rock in here and get this mess cleaned up